work with the uh, sea water. I explained this before, we go back on it again. When you use the sea water, you, to you, you, here in the past, in the other set, you have the plates. But in the sea water, you have the same position. You have a mixture of all the elements on this planet. I've explained this before. You go from gold to copper to zinc to whatever you want. Whatever you imagine is in the sea water. And in so many ways, when you add the caustic to it, you change every molecular atomic structure due to where they are and how they connect to each other. How they connect through the containment of the system, you put it in, dictates how you collect so much GANs at the bottom. Most of this carries C-O-N-H. So, you have by chance, by coincidence, CO2 in it. You have gradient of GANs of water. A lot of you don't realize in the water system you, you use from the sea water, you produce huge amount of gans of water, huge amount of gans of hydrogen. But what you see at the bottom is a spectrum of ganses. Depending on what temperature you created when you added the gans into it, the caustic into it. Because each one has the temperature effect. So when you collected the gans, you see there's a lot of gans collected. Majority of it has zinc in it, has a CO2 in it, has a gans of water in it, and the combination of the lot gives you the white color and you're happy you have it. But the gans you collect from seawater at the bottom of your container is extremely, extremely mixture of everything on this planet. But in the future, you can use this mixture for most of the things you want to use. If you get a gans of seawater and produce it on your coils for the space technology in the batteries, you have the full spectrum of the energies needed for the space travel. It's as simple as that. Most of you who created the ganses with the seawater, use the GANs for your batteries, for your space technology, for feeding. Everything is in there. Whatever the man needs is in the ocean. And <coughs> when you make your batteries, and when you use the GANs of the material on it, then now the energy of the GANs of whatever was in the sea, now is available for the man. You can use every element you can imagine in this system. If you uh, use water from different part of the ocean, you'll receive different type of gases, but near enough in strength in certain elements. In time, when you test, you will understand more. If you give the GAN, this GANs to be tested by Raman spectroscopy and infrared spectroscopy and other spectroscopies, you'll find they give you every element which is in the, in the, in the creation of this planet. But majority of it is CO2 and the zinc, which is part of the structure. Because, again, carbon is 12, zinc is 60. It's by the factor. That's why human race, the body, the structure of the life on this planet is very much dependent on the operation of the zinc. Because in part of the structure of the amino acid, zinc behaves very much as a stronger carbon. And in that conjunction, it allows different structures to come into operation. Life is not accidental on this planet. Is is orderly and it has sent for one to support the other. 
replacement of one thing to the other. That's why in your body you have parotidal glands, because the parotidal glands changes this to this, or in another conformation and conversion, this to this or to this as it needs it. Uh, Mr. Keshe, there's a question about um, would the GANs of water have a color, and if so, what color would that be? Um, you mentioned that it is water, water turns into GANs inside the body, does it not? Yes, well, water it, uh, the, the color of the GANs is transparent. Okay. It's very, it's a very transparent color, and it states that's in a way, your lymph is that made of the water. That's why you ignite 95% or 65% of your body, 80% of your body is water. Because it's lymph, which is uh, made of the gans of water. Your lymph is a gans of water, but energized in a specific way.